In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to connect your Android phone to a Wi-Fi network so that you can use Wi-Fi on your phone. Unfortunately, the settings menus on Android phones will often look a bit different depending on the phone brand and how old the phone is. But as you can probably see, Timmy's got three different phones here to demonstrate with. So hopefully the menus on your phone will be quite similar to at least one of these phones and you'll be able to follow along the tutorial even if it is a slightly bit different on your phone. But to start with, we'll need to open up the settings app. So to do that, you'll pull up from the bottom of the screen to bring up all your apps and then you'll scroll down until you find the settings app. So we'll find it there. There it is there. We'll open it there. And on some phones, like mostly Samsung phones, you actually have to swipe side to side to find the apps when you swipe up. But you'll swipe sideways until you find the settings app and tap on that. And then we'll just swipe up here and open up the settings app on that phone. So now we're on the settings app on all three of these phones. And now this is where it can get a bit different in between phones. On older phones, and maybe even some newish phones, there will sometimes just be a Wi-Fi option at the top of the settings here. So if you see that, you can obviously just tap on Wi-Fi because we're trying to connect Wi-Fi, so that's what you want. But with most newer phones, it kind of groups a whole lot of different options into one extra menu. So you have to tap a few more things. So on this Samsung one here, we have connections up the top. And then on this Google Pixel over here, we have network and internet. And we want to tap on both of those to get into Wi-Fi. But if your phone says something slightly different to connections or network and internet, it's probably still the same option you want to tap on. So you're probably just tapping on the top option here. And hopefully in this little text below the main heading, it'll say Wi-Fi down there, showing you that there's Wi-Fi inside that menu. So then you know that's definitely the right option to tap on. So we'll tap on that menu in both of these. And now on most phones, once you've tapped on that menu, you'll probably see a Wi-Fi option in here. So you can go ahead and tap Wi-Fi there. And now you'll be in the Wi-Fi settings, which we'll come back to in a minute. But over here on the Google Pixel and maybe a few other phones, we still don't see a Wi-Fi option, but we do have this option called internet here. And this is where they've put the Wi-Fi and the mobile data, so the 4G or 5G and stuff like that in this one menu here. So you'll still wanna click on internet even though it doesn't actually say Wi-Fi. And as you can see, we have the mobile connection up here, but then below that, it's still the basic Wi-Fi menu, just like we have on the other two phones. So now, hopefully you've found your way through the settings there, and you've made it to the Wi-Fi menu here. And now this next bit will all be quite similar, no matter what phone you have. As you can see, it looks a bit different on different phones, but all the buttons are really named the same thing and in the same place. So now you'll see a list of all the available Wi-Fi networks that are currently within range of your phone. And you'll need to tap on the network you want to connect to here. So hopefully it's pretty obvious which network you want to connect to. Hopefully the network is named something like Tech Time with Timmy Demo or whatever name it is for the Wi-Fi you're connecting to, and you'll just easily spot that one and tap on that one. But if you're not sure, you can often look at the sticker on the bottom of your Wi-Fi router. And if you haven't changed the default settings, it'll probably tell you on there what the network name is. Or if you're at someone else's house or you're somewhere in public or something, you might just need to ask someone or you might read it on a little sign or a card somewhere and find out what network you need to connect to. But once you know what Wi-Fi network you're connecting to, you'll just go ahead and tap on it here. So we'll tap on it on all of these phones here. And now it'll ask you for the Wi-Fi password. 
And this is also something you'll need to know. You'll need to know what the password is to log into the Wi-Fi network in order to connect to it. Sometimes if you're using public Wi-Fi somewhere, there might not be a password, but most of the time there will be a password. Hopefully you know it. If you don't, it might be written on the sticker on the bottom of your router. Or if you're at someone else's house, you could ask them for the password. Or if you're somewhere in public, the password might be written somewhere, or you might have a little card with the password on it. But once you know the password, you'll just go ahead and type the password into this box here. And then you'll tap the tick button on the keyboard, and that will connect your phone to that Wi-Fi network. So to me, we'll do that with the other two phones here, just to be complete. And now, once you've entered in that password, your phone will be connected to the Wi-Fi network. It might take a couple of seconds just for it to get connected and set up. But then, once it's finished that, you should see here under the network name, it'll say connected. So we have connected, connected, connected. So now, all of these phones are connected to this Wi-Fi network. And we can see up in this top bar here with the little icons, there's this triangle icon with the rounded top to it. It's a bit harder to see on that one, but it's still there. And we have it over there as well. So you'll see that whenever you're in any app on your phone. And whenever you see that icon, that means your phone is connected to the Wi-Fi. In some public Wi-Fi networks, once again, there might be no password, so you might tap on it and it will immediately connect. But then, after it connects, it might pop up with a notification that you need to tap on, and then you'll agree to the terms of use or something and go through this little onboarding procedure to connect to that Wi-Fi network. Every system's different, but if you just tap on that and follow the prompts, do what it asks you to do, then you'll be fully connected to that Wi-Fi network and you'll be able to use the internet. That doesn't always happen. Sometimes you might just connect and it'll work, but sometimes if you're at a mall or something, they like to add these extra little steps to go through. But now, once you've done that, you're connected to the Wi-Fi on your phone. So you can go out of the settings app and open up any other app you want and use the internet with the Wi-Fi. You're now connected and it's all working. And now that you've connected to this Wi-Fi network once, if you go away, so you go out of range of it and it drops out, it'll still remember that network and that password. So when you come back within range of the Wi-Fi network in the future, it should connect automatically within, within a few seconds without you having to do anything. So. Once you get it set up and connected the first time, it's really very convenient. But that's all there is to this video, so hopefully you found it helpful to get your Android phone connected to Wi-Fi, and Tamil will see you in another one soon.